Psalter, Tuesday week one, and then from the scripture reading, it's from the proper for Advent, obviously, Tuesday week one. And if you're using Universalis, which you can get on your phone or your tablet, or whatever, I believe it costs about ten pound. But then you'll simply have everything there to follow through for the Tuesday. I don't know a tune for the hymn in the breviary, so we'll sing four, three, one, like a sea without a shore, and we'll use the first two verses. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Like a sea without a shore, love divine is boundless. Time is now and evermore, and his love surrounds us. sinners, and do right before him, 
Who knows if he will accept you and have mercy on you? I exalt my God, my soul exalts the King of Heaven, and will rejoice in his majesty. Let all men speak and give him thanks in Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the King of the Ages in all your deeds. Praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Bring out your joy to God, oh, 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 oh. bring out your joy to the Lord, O oh, you just. For praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the lyre. With the ten string harp, sing him songs. For sing him a song that is new. I loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be. He commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all, and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. For vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord, the Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy, we trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise is fitting for loyal hearts. And we now turn to Tuesdays of Advent. Judah shall not want a branch from his stem, a prince drawn from his stock, until the day when he comes, who is to be sent to us, the hope of the nations. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun he will rise over you. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun, he will rise over you. His glory will appear in your midst. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun, he will rise over you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun, he will rise over you. A shoot shall spring from the stock of Jesse. The whole world shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, and all flesh shall see the saving power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men those who were his prophets from above, the Saviour who would free us from our foes, 
from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us the free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, he will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A shoot shall spring from the stock of Jesse. The whole world shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, and all flesh shall see the saving power of God. The response is, Lord, may your kingdom come. It is time for us to wake from our sleep. The day of our salvation is near. Lord, may your kingdom come. Help us to show our repentance by a new way of living. Lord, may your kingdom come. Prepare us for the coming of your word by opening our hearts to receive him. Lord, may your kingdom come. Help us to overcome our pride and raise us from the depths of our weakness. Lord, may your kingdom come. Throw down the walls of hatred between nations. Clear the way for those who work for peace. Lord, may your kingdom come. A moment of silence we offer our personal prayer. Lord, may your kingdom come. And with true longing, we pray for the coming of the eternal kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Take pity on our distress, Lord God. Show us your love. May the coming of your Son strengthen us and cleanse us from all trace of sin. We make our prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So welcome to our celebration this morning. It's only for us here the first frost of winter and a beautiful, beautiful sunny day as well. So we praise the Lord for this great gift of creation. In our readings there's a word that links them very, very strongly. So I'd encourage you to listen attentively with open hearts, open spirits to be aware of what the link is. As we prepare to listen to the word, we pray that we will be strengthened in our following of the Lord. Lord Jesus, to you we lift up our soul. Lord, have mercy. Rend the heavens, O Lord, and come to us. Christ, have mercy. You will not let us be put to shame. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us be united totally in the Spirit. Let us pray. Look with favour, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, Isaiah. A shoot springs from the stock of Jesse, a scion thrusts from his roots. On him the spirit of the Lord rests, a spirit of wisdom and insight, a spirit of counsel and power, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is his breath. He does not judge by appearances, he gives no verdict on hearsay, but judges the wretched with integrity, and with equity gives a verdict for the poor of the land. His word is a rod that strikes the ruthless. His sentences bring death to the wicked. Integrity is the loincloth round his waist. Faithfulness the belt around his hips. The wolf lives with the lamb. The panther lies down with the kid. Calf and lion feed together. With a little boy to lead them. The cow and the bear make friends. Their young lie down together. The lion eats straw like the ox. The infant plays over the cobra's hole into the viper's lair. The young child puts his hand. They do not hurt, no harm, on all my holy mountain, for the country is filled with the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters swell the sea. That day the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. It will be sought out by the nations, and its home will be glorious. The of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king so in your justice, that he may judge your people in justice, and your poor in right judgment. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to the earth's bounds. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace to the moon fails. For he shall save the poor, and when they cry, and the needy who are helpless, he will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace to the moon fails. 
May his name be blessed forever, and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. joy by the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what has pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father. And no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples, he spoke to them in private, Happy the eyes that see what you see, for I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, and never saw it, to hear what you hear, and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord. As I can't read the comments, I don't know how many of you made the connection. But I would say it is the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord rests upon him, the Spirit of wisdom, etc. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus proclaimed. We, in our time of waiting, do need to pray and to be open to the Holy Spirit. As Paul told us just on Sunday, You've been given the gifts of the Holy Spirit that you need. They're not the cream on top of the cake. This is something we need to be open to the Spirit, to be led by the Spirit, to allow the Spirit's gift to help build our community so it becomes stronger and stronger as we wait, as we pray, as we call for the Lord to return to us. We are those who are blessed because Jesus has revealed to us his beloved Father, his Abba. So let us be today, and it's very beautiful, and I'll show you later on some of the artwork that the Faith in Action has done. It looks great with the sunlight shining through. That we are blessed. Let us really be aware of our blessedness and the gifts of the Spirit we've been given. And really, allow our hearts to fill and overflow with the joy of the Lord. Let's pray for those who look out of their windows today and are untouched by the beauty of the gift of creation and the gift given. May Holy Spirit, speak to their hearts. May we who are sent speak to them and call their attention to the Lord. Lord, hear us. We pray for families who struggle. We pray for those who may well be facing unemployment 
those already made unemployed, with two large retail groups perhaps failing. It's again thousands of people that will be affected. Let's pray for solutions to all these very difficult issues. Lord, heal us. And decisions are once again being made in Parliament. We pray that the Spirit will always guide the common good. So let us offer our prayers for Hassan, Steve, John, Pat, Alan, Lillian, Julius and Nancy, John, Claire, Denise and Father Chad McGinnis. And for all those that we know who are unwell, for all the sick of our parish community. Lord, hear us. And we pray for Eric Horton, who has died recently. Eternal rest, grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. And we remember the intentions of Mary Agnes Lobo. Father of the eternal kingdom, we ask you to heal and to grant our prayers through Christ our Lord. And just in case the clouds cover the sun, I'll show you the work the children have done. And if it's still shining at the end, I'll take the camera to the back. Ah, it's too bright. You can see them, the two centre windows, they're wonderfully brightly coloured. So we'll leave it till the end of Mass. That was not a complaint, it's too bright, honestly. As we freely offer ourselves in these simple but profound symbols of bread and wine, we pray that the Holy Spirit will fill us. The Spirit of the Lord be upon us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation. But when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the Word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom, for our sake, you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfil when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he sent the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Celebrating therefore the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed Apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. kingdom may come, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. As we are able, let us offer each other the sign of peace. The song that we'll have played during my reception of communion, your spiritual communion, communion most of you will recognise. But it's taken from that vision of Isaiah that we heard in our first reading. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called 
to the supper of the Lamb. This is a short reflection by William Story. Advent is both the beginning and an end, an alpha and an omega of the Church's year of grace. Too often considered merely a season of preparation for the annual commemoration of Christ's birth, this rich and many-layered season is actually designed to prepare the Christian for the glorious possibilities of the Perusian, the return of the Lord. It is a season of longing expectation. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray.
replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm, hold firm to the things of heaven. We ask it through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Take the camera on a little journey so you can see the stars that have been prepared by faith in action. I think I neglected to show you the purple drapes. Oh, there you can see. Yeah, you can see the colours better there. Okay, so it looks stunning with the purple drapes up. And there you go, there's the first of the windows and they're going to be backlit for at least an hour or so each evening. Wonderfully backlit by uh, Jack Daniels bottles with lights in. You can buy the bottles from the virtual craft fair. Obviously this is the, the back view, the front view, it's uh, much more clear that they are in fact stars. So if you're ever able to wander past of an evening, you'll be able to see the wonderful stars as they, they grow during the weeks of Advent. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to close this down now as the battery is uh, very low. So thanks very much everyone.